Oof. I woke up in the dark again. <laughs> I can still feel it. It hurt me, Ayami. It hurt so bad. I was this close to changing everything, but you took it away from me. Alright, welcome to Tokyo Dark. If you guys have been following the Yuppie Cycle series, you know that has come to an end, but at the end of that series, I did put up uh, three games for you guys to kind of vote on, and I also left it open to suggestions as well. I have checked out some of your suggestions. I do have to look into those games. Some of them I do have to buy. Some of them I do own, but I'll get to them eventually. But for my suggestions, Tokyo Dark was one of them. So was Just Ignore Them, and so was The Count Lucanor, which is a game from the same developer as Yuppie Cycle. Now, to be honest with you, it seemed like a three-way tie. Maybe... Maybe a little bit scared towards Tokyo Dark. Like, I would say it was like a 35, 33, 32 type of, like, you know, percentile breakdown. It was very close. So, here's my idea. I'll do one video of each one. We'll put them out. You guys check them out. Tell me which one you guys enjoy more. For all I know, maybe you guys would change your mind about one vote to the other one. But, here's the caveat. Just because we do one of them, does not mean we cannot do the other ones afterwards. What's stopping us, right? Nothing at all. Alright, so speaking of um, disturbing enemy waifus, apparently we got one over here. When I close my eyes, she's always there. Smiling. Always smiling. Okay, somebody was um, being held with a knife there. Um, I normally try to give these characters voices for games like this as well. I'm really terrible when it comes to female voices, you apologize. I'll apologize to you guys right off the bat if it sounds like a child. That's what people tell me. My girl voice is not like a child, so... You know, I just can't do a fairly good female voice. From the guy grimy fabric of the train seat, I recognize a familiar face. Mmm, that looked like no face I've ever seen before. Tanaka. What's your badge doing in a place like this? Where are you? Hi. Ito, where are you? I've been trying to reach you for 20 minutes. I guess this means you've heard about his cell phone. Yeah, Sanki told me. I'm on my way to Shinjuku now. I couldn't wait for the uniforms to miss another chance. We've narrowed down the GPS signal to a back alley in the east part of town. You're the only detective I trust that's near it. That said, I'd be an idiot not to send in a team behind me. Lucky for us, it doesn't look like it's moved in the last 40 minutes. What's your ETA? I should be there in about 10 minutes. How long until the team arrives? At this rate, about 20 minutes behind you. Ito, we have no idea what you're walking into, so no heroics. Find the phone, discover what you can about how it got there, and report straight back to HQ. Understood? Yes, sir. I know this one's been especially tough for you. He's your partner, and I understand that you want to be the one to bring him home. But, well, are you going to be okay going back into the field? I know it's been a while since the, uh, incident, so you can't blame me for being a little messy. Remember to keep an eye on your spin attributes from time to time by pressing the escape key. I'm talking, I'm taking a big risk and trusting you with this, Ito. We can't have another repeat of Kamakura. I'm fine, sir. I have everything under control. I'll report in once I find the phone. Famous last words, huh? Behind the pleasantries, it's plain as day that Yukimara still doesn't trust me to be on my own. The day Tanaka went missing, the uniforms completely ruined the crime scene. There's no way I'll let that happen again. Hold on, Tanaka. I'll be there soon. Okay, so we've already alluded to an incident, something that's gone down. Not really all the trust in the world in us, so... Five days ago, my partner, Detective Kazuki Tanaka, vanished after leaving the police headquarters. There was no sign of him, and we had no leads. From one of the most populous cities on Earth, he simply disappeared. That is, until an hour ago when his phone was mysteriously switched on. Tracing it led me here, to this grimy road on the east side of Shinjuku. Nothing good ever happens in this part of town. Shinjuku. I think I've heard of Shinjuku before, and... I think based on what I've heard, it is kind of like, you know, this, like, slummy type of area, you know. A lot of bars, stuff like that. In my opinion, the smaller chicken skewer place is the better. At least, that's what I used to tell Tanaka. Clothes. Not like I have time for chicken tonight anyway. That's true. We're kind of, um, looking for your lost partner here. A shabby looking bar with a butterfly logo on the sign. Hostess bar. Watered down booze is changed for fake smiles and a girl to laugh at your jokes. On a normal night, 
There's no way I look for Tanaka here. Tonight's not exactly normal, though. Investigation plus one. So if we come over here, this will be very, I guess, imperative to the endings. There's multiple endings in this game is what I've read. So, um, a lot of it might be dictated by this. We could go insane in this game. We could keep it professional, non-professional, investigation points. Apparently neurosis as well. <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind of as well. Um, we'll, we'll skip going in there for now just to kind of get an entire scope of the, the entire area first. Get some clues and stuff like that. The small bar doesn't have a lot of customers, but there's a good view of the street from the storefront. So whoever works there might have, um, probably gotten a look as to what might have gone down, if anything at all. Oh, what a stench. Well, pretty normal for a dumpster, I guess. It's locked up tight. Investigation. Some sort of warehouse or storage building. No clue what type of company it belongs to, but the dumpsters are definitely theirs. Blood? No. Only fresh red paint. Only thing reminds me of Kamakura and that girl, but it's no time to dwell on the past tonight. I have work to do. All right, scummy-looking guy, hot hostess. I'm Detective V2 of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Huh? <laughs> Could smell the cop on you the minute you step through the door. Yeah, sure, ask away, but make it quick. It usually starts getting busy around now. Have you seen this man in here with the la over the last day or two? Who's he? Some boyfriend of yours. He's a cop and he's missing. Have you seen him or not? Lots of cops pass through here, but that one I haven't seen. Listen, I've got paying customers, not a lot of free time, so you can either order a drink or you can go. This hostess seems pretty cagey. She might open up after a drink, but then again, maybe not. Need to be careful here. Alright, so, um... You know, let's order a drink in, in, in the name of getting some information, obviously. Alright, I could afford to take a load off. I'll take a shot of whiskey in the rocks. It's quite a drink. No, no cosmopolitan for a girl here, huh? You serious? <laughs> okay, most cops won't exactly order drinks out in the open. Well, you did say we couldn't keep talking about a drink. Now I've had my drink, so get to talking. What do you want me to say? Listen, lady, I don't know in the place, I just work here. So if this is some sort of sting or something, leave me out of it. It's bad enough to have mouth breathers like Goto over there chatting me up all night. Don't worry, it's not a setup. It seems there have been some bad things happening in this part of town. Tonight is all. Ha! <laughs> bad things, huh? You a rookie? No, not by a long shot. <laughs> well, you sound like one. Bad stuff happens here all the time. Seems like every other day I'm hearing whispers of someone getting beaten or a scam going on. Anyone whisper to you tonight? No, as a matter of fact, they haven't, officer. Now, as stimulating as conversation was, I'm all out of goodwill for tonight. Good luck, lady. Well, unfortunately, all I did was apparently get me slightly intoxicated and we didn't really get too much good information out of that. Evening, sir. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh, well, what are you supposed to be then? I think this one's with the police, honey. Detective Ito, Tokyo Metropolitan Police. Uh, police, huh? <laughs> My name's Goto. Uh, is that gun real too? Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Maybe you can show me your gun and I can show you mine. <laughs> Charming. How about we stick to the questions? You seem like a regular. Have you seen this man tonight? Uh, I don't know. See these glasses, Detective Odo? My eyesight's not so good. Why don't you come over here and sit on my knee so I can take a closer look? Ugh. I'll pass. <laughs> Listen, I try to help you, but if you don't want it, that's fine with me. <laughs> I felt disgusting just doing that guy's voice, but it felt like that was the voice you'd probably give that type of character. Alright, so really nothing much of there. Let's go and check this area out. I'm Detective Ito of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? No problem at all. You can call me Daisu if you want. I haven't, uh, done something wrong, have I? No, nothing like that. I was hoping you could help me, actually. Have you seen this man? Maybe sometime tonight? Hold on. Mind if I take another peek at that picture? Oh, sorry. Don't think I'd see him after all. Are you positive? Yeah, I definitely remember. You see, to be honest, business has been so great. So I haven't seen much of anyone lately, and I definitely remember a guy like that. Mostly I just sit here alone, wiping down the counter over and over again. Can't say I thought this is what I'd be doing as the owner of a bar in Shinjuku, you know? 
Not to mention none as guys like me are being driven out of business around here. All the other places like that hostess club up the street are cutting corners. Oh. Look, dude. I'm sorry for your current predicament in life, but... Yeah, looking for my partner here. I'm sorry to hear that, Daiso. I've got one more question, that's okay. You have a pretty good view of the alley from here. See anything unusual out there tonight? Unusual? Not that you mention it. When I went out back there before, I thought I heard a ringing sound coming from inside the dumpsters. Just kept ringing and ringing. Speaking of rings, I had to pawn my wedding ring to pay this month's rent. If my wife heard about the next thing as a dumpster, it might be me. <laughs> uh. Yikes. <laughs> Look, shoot, lock, inspect, lock, listen. No doubt about it, that's Tanaka's phone, alright. But who would've put it there? I don't hear anything, but sure, okay. What a stench. Well, oh, pretty normal for a dumpster, I guess. It's locked up tight. Damn, no way I can pry it apart or jimmy it open and I'm running out of time. Really leaves only one solution. Try getting a key, but there was nobody there, so let's just shoot it open. <sighs> Can't believe that worked. Wait, Ayami, what are you doing? Can't use my gun like that in public. Good thing no one saw me. Yeah, good thing. Oh, why would you lose professionalism when nobody saw me? Nobody. It's fine. I don't know who I am. Oh, well. Open dumpster. That must be it. Filthy paper bags surrounded by a swarm of flies. The ringing is coming from inside. I need to fish it out of there and get a closer look. As I draw near, the metallic scent of blood drifts into my nostrils. Written in the bag are two characters I know very well. Ayami. What the hell's going on here? <gasps> Embedded in the gruesome red mass is Tanaka's phone. As I slide the phone out, I'm overwhelmed by the smell of rotting meat and the buzzing of flies. Hello? Who is this? Oh, you finally picked up? I knew you would eventually. It's been a long time, Ayami-chan. How do you know my name? Where's Tanaka? Where are you keeping him? Shh, Ayami-chan. Tanaka's right here with me in the cellar. Come down. There's something I want you to see. Oh, I bet. Leave bloody bag for police? Sure. Once Yukimaro's backup sees us, the forensic team won't be far behind. I'll make sure they don't miss it so it can be analyzed properly. Good. Hey. Alright, so they're in the sewer, right? The bars won't budge. The red paint is on both sides and outside of the drain, so someone around here must know how to get in. Maybe someone in here can help us out? Excuse me. No red anime insane waifu. You're not gonna help us out. Whoa, whoa, lady, we're closed. What are you doing in here? Did you just see that girl? See what now? Well, the lights were flickering, so I came over, but the only girl I see is you. You alright, lady? You're like really pale. Yeah, I'm fine. So, um, this is like private property, so if you don't go, I'm gonna have to go and, like, talk to the police. You're talking to the police. Oh, you're a cop! Whoa, what timing, officer, sir, ma'am. I think I heard a gunshot or something outside. I mean, I don't know what a gun sounds like, but I've seen movies. I was gonna go talk to the cops, but, like, I thought, boy, what if the guy's still out there? Totally wasted me. So I just decided to wait it out, you know? Good thing you showed up. Hey, do you smell whiskey? <laughs> okay. You, you know, what have you been doing today, officer? Oh, you know, I just had a couple of drinks and shot a couple of locks off. Very professional, apparently. Uh, no, that must be your imagination. Did you see anyone outside tonight? Around your dumpsters, maybe? No, man, I would know. Those dumpsters are part of my responsibilities and that stuff. I'm pretty observant. The boss is, like, super harsh about making sure people don't, like, tamper with them and whatever. Anyway... You're super sure no one's outside trying to kill me, right? Because then you gotta go and, like, finish my duties. Later! Sorry to bother you again, Daiso, but do you know anything about the storm beneath the end of the alley? No worries, Detective. How'd you mention it? You might not believe me, but I swear a fat guy in a suit climbing out of there a few days ago along with some girl. He's kind of infamous around here. Probably one of those hostess clubs as usual. Maybe the Butterfly Club? Hopefully he stays there. Anyway, that storm drain set bad news if you ask me. I stood clear of it. Alright. So, fat guy in a suit, I think, um, ding, ding, ding. There we go. Excuse me, I've got a witness who says someone fitting your description was has entered the storm at the end of the street before. Any chance that was you? I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Threaten or flirt? Oh, you know. 
I ain't gonna fuck with that dude. This is our waifu now. Don't play dumb with me. I know you've been in that sewer. Tell me how you got in now. Oh, just lynch him up. Uh, the hell do you think you are? I don't care what some a-hole said about me, lady. I know you take women in there, and if you want to leave this bar with the necessary parts to be with one again, I suggest you start talking. I, uh, <laughs> sorry about the misunderstanding. Uh, there's a shrine in that sewer. I go down there to, uh, do stuff. I don't remember asking you what you do down there. I asked how you get down there. Now start talking. All right, all right, I just leave me alone. There's a trick to opening the grate. Twist the leftmost bar to the right and the ones next to the left and they come off. And then you can crawl inside. There. You happy now? Now just leave me alone. Professionalism dropped again. Eh, you know. This is quite an elaborate setup. Someone has strung some cheap lights half assedly along the ceiling. Maybe in a vain attempt at creating an intimate atmosphere. Oh yeah, this is intimate, alright? You know what, baby? I got this place at the end of the street in a sewer somewhere. Don't, don't worry, don't worry, it sounds disgusting, I know, but I got some lights up, I put up some red streamers, it is amazing. That'll win him over. Oh. Yeah, exactly, oh. Seeing that probably took a few years off my life. The photo's in good shape, I guess, it was probably taken recently. <laughs> we lost some insanity because of that, that's good. Or some sanity, anyway. It's a gamble, but I could try getting down there barehanded. Gotta think there's something around here I could use to climb down safely, though. The same fresh paint used on the wall and the drain outside. Whoever painted it must be close. I wonder what the shrine gate's doing down here after all this time. Maybe the builders were too superstitious to destroy it when the sewer was built. A thin, freshly painted line of red paint runs slowly down the wall towards the well. Well, apparently we gotta find something to get ourselves down. I don't think we could probably use lights. Rope on salary, man. That's true, he does have rope. Ah, uh, you, you again! I thought you said you'd leave me alone already. Anyway, I don't know anything about some rope or whatever. I don't have time for this. Oh, oh, oh why is that there? I, uh, I kind of think it's illegal. <laughs> huh. Well, in your case, it definitely should be. No, it's not. Breaking into a sewer to do it, however, is. And this picture's pretty strong evidence to put you at the scene, don't you think? Hey, now. Uh, say, uh, what did I trade you? I'll give you that rope and you can give me that picture. I was just about to suggest something similar, except I keep the rope and the picture, and in exchange, you get to stay out of jail tonight. Uh, fine, fine. Just take it. You know what? I'm starting to think you might be a... Not, you might not be my type. <laughs> oh, really? Well, well, I gave you that idea, huh? You use rope to climb down. The rope is thin, I know it's been used, but it's all I got. Here goes nothing. A lot of creepy text. Oh, hey, look at that. Creepy and hot. No surprise there. At long last, I'd found Hazuki, or Kazuki. His hands were bound to his head, was covered by a dirty, bloodstained sack. I'd gone in all business, ready to handle the situation quickly, get everyone home safe, and go back to a normal life. My plans went out the window the minute I made his captor's face. It was a face I knew very well. Six months ago in Kamakura, Kazuki and I encountered her in a hostage situation gone wrong. She died. The cold eyes and unhinged smile that stared at me from the shadows at the end of the tunnel belonged to a girl. Six months dead. I stood frozen to the spot, unable to speak as I faced down the impossible. It must be a trick. That's what my subconscious whispered to me over and over to drown out the sound of my beating heart. The girl wasn't surprised to see me. In fact, it seemed that my shock and surprise was what she wanted to see all along. The fact remained that I was alone. I hadn't told Yukumara where I was, and Tanaka's life was in her hands. It was me and her, a lone detective and a girl straight down from a nightmare. Timer? What happened? Draw gun? Yes. Police! Drop the weapon and let him go! <laughs> and why would I do that? Tanaka, can you hear me? Stay calm. I'll get you out of this. Ito? No, you have to get out of here, please, before. Shh, that's enough out of you. I said hands up now. 
Not even a hello or a long time no see, Yami-chan. It has been a while after all. I won't fall for that. That girl died six months ago. Oh, I did. <laughs> I wish someone had told me. Then I would have gone through all this trouble. You remember that spring day in Kamakura, don't you, Yami-chan? The day you and Tanaka showed up to help that poor little shrine girl. Well, Tanaka here wanted to help. Anyway, you on the other hand, you just pretend to help. But you wanted to hurt me like everyone else. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to remember those things. Shh, shh. You hear that? It's awake. It's finally awake like the day we met. I did it. Now I can bring him with me. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that? You should say bye-bye because Tanaka's coming with me. I'm not very smart. It's confusing down here all on my own, but with Tanaka, it's, it'll be different. We'll finally be able to find the door. And I won't be alone. Maybe with him down here, will It will let me go. <laughs> you look confused, Yami Shan. Don't worry. It'll be all over soon. You're insane. Put down the weapon or I'll have to shoot. You say that like it's so hard for you. I bet you're just waiting for an excuse to hurt me again. Whoever you are, get down on the ground now. You know who I am. I know who you are too, Ayami Ito. I don't take orders from you. My mind raced in every direction to come up with logical explanation for what I saw. The clothes, the hair, the mannerisms were all the same. But I still didn't believe. It was when she mentioned the voices from Kamakura that my defenses began to wear down. There was no way she would have known about that. I left it out on my reports, and Kazuki and I didn't talk about it. I began to accept that a girl I faced really was the same girl. A wave of deja vu rushed me over as I stared down my gun sights, the scent of cherry blossoms drifting faintly into my nostrils under the thick sewage. Was I doomed to repeat my sins over and over? Shoot? Oh. Ask about Kamakura? How are you here? In Kamakura, I... I... Murdered me? No, it wasn't like that. I was trying to... Ayami, there's nothing you can do. I know it's confusing, but you have to run. It's your only chance to get out of this. Oh, you. Be a good little boy and hush now. You know, it almost sounds like you feel bad about it. Almost. All I wanted in Kamakura was the mask. But you were hiding it from me. I had been searching for it for so long, Ayami Shan. So many different shrines. Then Tanaka showed up. He didn't look at me like I was some sort of rabid little animal. Not like all the others. No, no, no. Not my Tanaka. He wanted to help me. Really help me. And I almost believed he would before... Before you showed up. Well, we all know what happened after that, don't we? Poof. I woke up in the dark again. <laughs> I can still feel it. It hurt me, Ayami. It hurt so bad. I was this close to changing everything, but you took it away from me. I wonder why someone so nice as Tanaka would be with someone so horrible like you. So I went after him instead. He even gave me the mask. What? You don't believe me? He doesn't care about you, remember? He wants to help me. But the mask wouldn't wake up. Not like it did in Kamakura. It won't work if it's not awake. Oh, but Ayami, it worked. Everyone always called me stupid, but look at me now. Tanaka and I will be together, and I'll finally find the door. But first, I have to send them there. I'm sorry, Tanaka. It's the yellow you can help me. I want you to help me. Please? You promised. And you, Ayami-shan. You can watch. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. This is Tokyo Dark. So far, very cool, very disturbing. Very interesting for a fact. Um, if you guys enjoy it, let me know in the comments. If I'm leaving a thumbs up. I'll do the other ones, as I mentioned. We'll do one episode of those, too. See which one kind of tickles your fancy the most, and we'll do that one completely. And then afterwards, you can try the other ones as well. No big deal there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time.